part of the magic in turning around our company was our partnership with Conga.com, which has helped us to reduce substantially the cost of acquisition of products and services. So we have decided at executive management level that before you buy any product, you have to check the price on Conga.com. Good initiative by the company. Most of the staff here already shop on Conga. We get good deals, best prices. Even our travel tickets, we get them on Conga Travel. Before you buy, check prices on Conga.com. Part of the magic in turning around our company was our partnership with Conga.com, which has helped us to reduce substantially the cost of acquisition of products and services. So we have decided at executive management level that before you buy any product, you have to check the price on Conga.com. Good initiative by the company. Most of the staff here already shop on Conga. We get good deals, best prices. Even our travel tickets, we get them on Conga Travel. Before you buy, check prices on Conga.com. Good morning. My name is Nicky Mudia, co CEO of Conga Group. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you for being here with us today. We are very pleased to welcome all of you to the premiere of this groundbreaking event an opportunity to discuss with SMEs on ways to make money using the Conga platform. We believe that our relationship with merchants and partners is the bedrock of our success. The more money you make, the more vibrant our ecosystem becomes. And for that, I say thank you. Our plan is to have this event quarterly to create an avenue to share knowledge, bond, and listen to great minds. Before I go into the introduction of Conga and its subsidiaries, I'd like to announce that as part of the SME Connect 2021, we are offering significant discounts to all participants, thanks to our partners like HP, Lenovo, Dell, Zynos, and Samsung. You can visit conga.com to explore these wonderful offers, and they will go live at 11 a.m. today and closes on Friday at midnight. 
Conga Group is the largest and only composite e-commerce group in Africa with over 3.5 million customers, 200,000 merchants, 35 physical retail stores, and multiple structured secure technology-driven warehouses. We adopt sound and highly ethical business practices in our operations, and our vision is to create a commercial community that proffers solutions to retail through highly competitive prices, genuine products, and excellent customers, as well as post-sale services in Africa. During the course of this event, please feel free to ask questions using any of the channels we have today, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Zoom. And we will address them as much as we can. If for some reason we cannot answer all the questions today, we will get back to you and answer all the questions in subsequent days. For those outside the country, this event will be recorded and can be viewed later. But subsequent events, we promise to consider the different time zones in our planning. We appreciate your attendance. Without further ado, I know you are here to listen to, to the main speaker. It's a Nigerian icon, an icon that has re redefined our digital age, built businesses beyond time and age. It is truly an honor to introduce Liu San Eke to speak to us on how to make money, create jobs using the Conduct platform. Welcome. Tech Week from 24th to 31st of May with over 100,000 laptops, desktops, tablets, printers, mobile phones and other gadgets on sale in bulk and retail with huge discounts in support of educational institutions, governments and corporate establishments in Nigeria in partnership with HP, Lenovo, Zinox, Samsung, Apple, Dell, Asus, Infinix, Techno and many more supported by Access Bank. All orders placed are guaranteed immediate delivery. Conga.com the e-commerce group you trust. Well, good morning, everyone in Nigeria, in the UK, and good afternoon to those of you in Dubai. Good evening to those in Singapore. China, and then our brothers and sisters and friends who are in Canada and the States. Our apologies. I know we got in a lot of complaints that we didn't consider you in choosing this time. So I'm sure Konga will do better next time in considering the global community in um, putting their time. Uh, well, mine is uh, very simple. I want to appreciate you for coming online. Um, I'm basically going to talk on making new money through partnerships, but particularly partnership with Conga, because that's why I'm here. Um, so I, I crave the intelligence. I'm going to start, and I'm going to talk as I'm for it. And I'm sure I'm talking to a whole lot of big time businesses, medium and small, unemployed, underemployed, and students. So we are covering the whole ecosystem. I part of the strategy according to Conga is for for whoever is a speaker to provide himself. So I do a very simple profile. I, I went to school like any other person, but particularly, I was very clear I was going to be an entrepreneur. So my courses were chosen to add value to my anticipated uh, chase uh, in the global war front of business. So I did economics degree, I experienced in there. But particularly interesting is that I was supposed to read computer science. I started as spent three months in Cox City University, Ireland. 
and I was told Africa would not be automated in 30 years. So why go back to Africa? I had offers from multinationals. But somehow we agreed and I had to go on. But I went to real risk management in City University at Nottingham University. One year course. And after that, I wanted to know a little bit about law guided business and let them in business law. But it was at this point that I had to use my school fees. Instead of taking the exams, I used my school fees to launch a business. Now, it was very clear to me that I was going to be destructive. Uh, that was the only way I could emerge. Not coming from a wonderful rich family, but informed parents. And I remember the first day before I launched, I went home 6 a.m. I had a chat with my parents that I was going to launch business. But I wanted to consider myself as an only child. And it was a big shock for a family of eight, you know, our senior brothers and sisters. Uh, it was shocking to, to all of them, but I had, I had to explain to them that in the business I was launching into, that they cannot help me because they were not knowledgeable in the IT, IT industry. And there was no uncle of mine that could do that. So I was going to war front, but I needed their space so that they don't have a lot of influences on me. Now, having said that, how do you get money to do the business? And I told them I was going to throw myself as um, a collateral, my integrity as collateral. So I believe you can't scale in Africa starting business with borrowed funds. So I was privileged as a student to have contacts and they were, they were able to leverage, they were able to give me credit. So this was how I launched IT. And then that was how I um, civilized the country in desktop publishing and computer graphics. And then bring it up to Nigeria. Amstrad first, Apple, HP, Compaq, and all the rest of them, Microsoft. So this is summary of my profile. Now, I use myself as a test one in the case we are doing today, that with little or nothing, if I could achieve a little, that a lot of you here today watching would do better. In the same Nigeria, with all the challenges, it will never go up in the very near future. So, but we are in a dramatic world. And interestingly, for this generation, you don't have the burden of analog parts that have that had a lot of deficit. So kids born in the last 18 years have only experienced digital platform where you don't need to settle any person to get a landline. So you are highly mobile. But the new economy, which I'm discussing today, a lot of poor people will emerge through disruption. Capital is available. But you have to be prepared. So let me let, let, let me talk about Conga before I go into the main the main the main topic. How about technical crew I arrive? Now Conga is a different kind of business at this time has arrived, emerged. Well, I have a history of pioneering e-commerce in Africa. And it was just the thought of how can we create jobs, how can we support startups in a country where I don't have industrial clusters. So how can this scale? And I was flying to Abuja. I got down from the aircraft, and I told my lawyer to register viralafrica.com. Viralafrica.com happens to be the biggest, sorry, the first the pioneer of e-commerce in the whole of Africa. It was launched with Bamford. I had the privilege of hiring the CEO of Microsoft in West Africa. Heavy pay, but somehow, 
As an entrepreneur, sometimes you make mistakes and they disaster. I forgot that they were, they were, the credit system, credit card system didn't exist. And then the debit card didn't exist. So how can I scale? So we struggled with it after two years, we had to pack it up. So we failed. And I was privileged also to add values to Jumia when they launched, Kunga launched. And then Prince Eke launched Udala through his youth service. So Kunga today was acquired by the group 2018. Zionist group wasn't the highest bidder, but it was considered to Zionist based on experience, capacity, and roadmap. And that's how Conga emerged. And Conga technically was acquired by Udara. And they came together and they created the most robust, futuristic, composite e commerce. Now it came out of Africa. And a few years after, the Alibaba Bears and the Amazon started composite structure. So that tells you that we have the brain power. We don't lack extreme capacity. And that we have a future. If you can think it and you have energy, you can deliver it. God being on your side. So today, Konga, I'm excited with the management and staff of Konga for driving the vision of changing 360 degrees. Conga was losing about 400 million a month. I'm happy to say today, their last balance sheet we looked at, that in some months, they hit profitability. And it won't be surprising by the end of this financial year, they could break even. That would be a world class record. And Conga is just not an e commerce, an e commerce group. Conga handles its logistics, Conga, Conga, Conga Express. Conga launched the first marketplace in the whole of Africa. That is very innovative, even before we acquired it. Conga has a retail stores nationwide. Okay, adapting our lifestyle, the analog, and integrating it with digital. Conga has Conga, uh, uh, Conga, uh, Conga Pay, which is a CBN license uh, mobile money making things easier and seamless for you to do business. They have Conga Travels, which was launched with Pamper, and in six months, Virgin, Global Virgin Airline, awarded Conga the most digital uh, agency emerging out of Africa. I know they have a lot to launch, and that's why I think partnering with them will give you a lot of opportunity. They launched Conga Ball. But most importantly, why I think you benefit from their assistance, their capacity, is that in the last three years, instead of making noise, they built infrastructure. And that was the concept that really actually led me to thinking of e commerce first. So they build warehouses all over the country, across the country. I think in Lagos, without sounding in models, they own the biggest warehouse in the city of Lagos, 50,000 square meters in the heart of Lagos. So if you build infrastructure in terms of logistics, digital logistics, you have technology, you have warehousing, you have payment system, difficult to fail. Now, this, the country cannot provide because of our deficiencies and sometimes the capital outlay and human capital. But this has been done. And I know they are rolling up more companies. I know they want to launch Conga Health, which if they had launched two years ago when they announced, they would have helped the whole lot to resolve the coronavirus uh, issues. 
and are here they want to launch a different kind of conga food. I'm sorry I won't reveal all their secrets, but these are the few that I think I talked about. They have a huge rollout because they have everything in place. Indirectly, Conga owns three biggest markets, having a minimum of 500 stores across the country, Abuja, Lagos, and Oweri. So these are some of the capacity why I think doing business with them would be a great uh, 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 a platform for you. Now moving into, because there are a lot of entrepreneurs here, I, I really need to tell you a little bit about the market, what is, is happening and what is going to happen. So anticipating the future. If you're an entrepreneur, you must anticipate the future. So you need to watch your back because when you watch your back, you become innovative. The global equation has changed and compounded with the coronavirus. Now, if Africa needs civilization, they also need disruption. And how do you do it? So we run into an economy where people from very poor background will disrupt. We run into an economy that wealth becomes a right if you are ready to pay the price. We run into an economy where there's environmental influence that educates you, that shows you the possibility and endless possibilities. And most important, we run into an economy that opened the boundaries that poor people like us could excel. That today, one of my companies is doing digital rollout in Lebanon, even with their difficulties. Deploy satellites in Libya and many other countries without talking to the president of Nigeria. It has to do with confidence and capacity to deliver. So Nigerians, for the first time, must roll their sleeves and hold the future in advance in their hands. Now, I know I'm talking across platforms, but if you want to be an entrepreneur, there are a whole lot of demands. And I see a future that is greater than what it is today. But there is a relationship between the old and the new. So how businesses were transacted between 1886 to 1966 in Nigeria. And that business was based on trust, no collateral. And that's a business of integrity. We are returning back to that. So that's why I say capital is available. But are you ready as an entrepreneur to pay the price? I'm not talking about the big companies. I'm talking to entrepreneurs right now. But I'll come back to the big companies. So how can you scale? If you have cash, people are ready to invest in you. Let me raise the point. The points are very simple. One, you must be knowledgeable as an entrepreneur. Our parents and grandparents didn't have the privilege of quality education. But frankly, you don't need the best education to be successful. But you need education to be a guide for you to interpret the DNA of your business. So today you have platforms to research, like the mistake we made, we forgot about, I forgot about credit cards and debit cards. And we lost money, but we lost that money. So today you can research on what you want to do, and that's what knowledge is all about. 
and then you can choose and reduce the risk level. Two, you must be tech driven. It's impossible for you to run a company today with a whole lot of analytics that will resolve your problems and you are not tech driven. How do you communicate? How do you reconcile? How do you project? So it's a qualification today that an entrepreneur must be tech driven. And we're not saying you should be a coder, but have the basic knowledge of using applications that solve your problem, make things easier for you, build capacity for you, and then you scale. The third one, which is very central to Nigeria, very, very central to Nigeria. It's uh, spiritually strong. In Africa, you need God to drive the business. God makes the difference with your knowledge, with your finance, your capacity. God gives you the right solution, the right business, the solution at the right time. And sometimes you don't need money. And I tell the young entrepreneurs here, you don't need to be intimidated by people of our age. What we struggle for years to achieve without a culture you will achieve them today in five years. But some of this I'm listening today are the prices you have to pay. You must be seen to be reliable. That when you have the downs in your business, you should meet your commitment. This is the biggest problem in 21st century in the third world. And you must have the capacity to take pains before pleasure. When you're incubating, it's a lot of pains. A lot of people won't be happy with you. Including your parents. And for those of you who are married, these are some certain things you must consider. Your wife should be able to tolerate those inconveniences. Otherwise, you can't scale. So you must suspend pleasure when you build wealth, the first aircraft, the first cars will be available for you to roll. But you must have energy to deliver. Most importantly, right now, it's the capacity to see the bigger picture. Because we all, most of us, come from very poor background. We limit our vision to those circles. So I just told you my history. If you, if you are somebody, an entrepreneur that sees the bigger picture, you don't waste your time fighting. You apologize to the enemy to give you a space. Because it's time, your time he takes should be your time of prosperity, time of progress, time of research. So you must see opportunities. On this area, you must have capacity to tolerate betrayers. One of the main challenges entrepreneurs have is betrayal. Are your partners betray you? Your friends betray you, your staff betray you. It's common in Africa. And unfortunately, the legal system is sensibly weak, so you don't get judgment in a shop. Thank
You deserve the good life. It's not out of your reach. At Conga, we believe that true connections with our customers is being part of your daily lives. That's why we keep looking for more ways to connect with our customers strategically. Introducing Conga Advertising. Here to bring brands closer to their audiences in new innovative ways through the power of being more. More than just a shopping platform with our online presence and retail stores plus unrivaled shopping data. Nobody knows the Ninja Shopper better than Conga. Above technology and information, we make our customers shop smart and live well using arranged data to help them discover genuine products at their point of thought or need. We also connect brands with our customers more often and more thoughtfully through creative and robust brand experiences. And it all starts with the connection. Conga Advertising. Building lasting connections. It's Conga's Tech Week from 24th to 31st of May with over 100,000 laptops, desktops, Well, to sum up the last page in my brain, it's the possibility of the 21st century where you belong. A century driven by smart people who will disrupt. A century you can classify it as a time that money talks, but wealth whispers. And a century that will empower women to take a reasonable charge. And I always say, by the second quarter of this century, we start from 2026, a lot of women will take control of their destiny. But these women must make sure they don't marry executive husbands. And these are husbands who consider women as back office women, which is absolutely wrong. So it's a century that gives you a capacity where we are right now. It's a century that gives you capacity to alter your destiny. I think that's why we are here. We all can find food, we can find education, but we need to alter our destiny. And now that takes me to the business for why you are here. But before going into the main core business, our partnership with Conga, Conga Group benefits you. But let me appreciate the OEMs, HP, Lenovo, Samsung, Zynox, that took a decision to give a special deal. Somehow they confirmed, are you sure you are going to speak on this? I say yes, after their life. And they give an unprecedented deal. You can't find those prices for the selected product anywhere in Africa. If you find the prices, Please call me. I put a double interest on your money because I participated in building those things. But unfortunately, because of corporate governance and for infraction's sake, it lasted 12 midnight. I begged for them to allow it to last the 12 midnight on Friday. So you have an opportunity to buy for your corporate, to buy for your school to buy for your personal use. So I appreciate Dell, HP, Lenovo, Samsung again. But let me talk about your partnership because I have limited time. This program is for one hour. So that can allow you time to ask questions. 
how would a big company in 21st century so far? Kunga has built a credible world class capacity to support the economy. And the economy, the owners of the economy, citizens of the country, are not reasonably in charge. They are seeding the future of their children of the economy to foreigners. So you must take a percentage of that economy, even though you are a global citizen. So how would a big business the future is very clear. The big businesses into manufacturing in the next five to 10 years have no option but to restructure. And by the way, it's important for you to know, you don't restructure your business when you are dying. Restructure your business when you are profitable. Because a leader Management must anticipate the future. That's why you must watch your back. I give good example of practical companies with due respect to those companies. A Coca-Cola, for example, cannot handle today's production capacity and demands of the future. What is the difference between Coca-Cola and uh, Pepsi. It's their mixture configuration. But the process of bottling, mixing, bottling, packaging is the same. And that's part of what Africa is suffering from. In the next 10 years, they have no business running a plant. They will spend their time on research and development marketing, core marketing. And if we have a credible OEM, ODM that has capacity, it will read, sorry, they, they will produce for them and talk about their brands. And then you have logistic companies like Zy like Conga interface with them, move the inventory to wherever they want into the world. Control the resellers with the payment system, control the credit extension, and make it available to the rich, unreached, and underrich. This is where the world is headed. You can now run huge factories all over the world, they are outsourcing. So you pay attention to your core competence. This I'm talking to the big businesses. This infrastructure is already here, but it has to be tech driven. A good example is the transaction I know Conga did with one of the big multinationals. They have, Conga has installed cloud cameras. So wherever the management is in the world, you can see your inventory live. And you'll be getting reports six times in a day. What has been sold, who has been sold to? And you receive your payment. If you don't run this slim, your competitors run this slim, you are there. So Conga has not a production, but digital logistics. Conga has warehousing capability nationwide. And there are secured warehouses. Conga has smart regional offices, which they have been building the last three years. So providing infrastructure that some of these big companies don't need to Build office because in Nigeria, because of the deficiencies in infrastructure, if you have an office, you have to have a security man, you have to have sweeper, you have to have generator, you have to have mobile police, and a minimum of four. I need to, it's, it's a whole lot of cost. And what are you supposed to be doing there? Business development. So Konga has provided some of these offices in their locations. Now you just rent two or three tables, depending on the number of staff you have. They have internet facility, they have technology. You lease it at a cost of 15%. So 21st century is not a century of status business. It's a century of reality. 
because the dynamics is run at a very high speed. Now, you also have advantage of advertising and local availability. And because they have logistics, they can deliver to their resellers before they are out of stock, wherever in the country. Every big business must think this way because a lot of them will die if they are not proactive on innovation. You either accept it or you leave the business. A, a lot of them profitable today, yes, but how far can they go? So you need to live with the reality of the time. Now, I've talked about the big businesses, but they are the medium businesses. The medium businesses are creative manufacturers, distributors, big time resellers, big pharmacies. It's across the chain, fashion shops, big shoe manufacturers, okay, FMCGs, how can you spell? The truth is that the cost of living will go up, cost of doing businesses will go up, no options. So today, if you want to scale, you have a business in Lagos, for you to open office in Paraguay, it's a huge cost. How can you scale to 36 states from across Abuja? And some states, you need three or four offices because they are quite big, and to the local government. So this is why I think Congo has built infrastructure to take people like that and making their products available and providing a huge marketing platform. You concentrate in availability, making it available. For them to deliver and no stories your staff are not in control of payment system credit extension now you sign agreement with them the goods are available in their warehouses secured warehouses and then your resellers will pay and even when they pay they don't need to rent dead vehicles struggle on the route they break down they delay consumers are impatient if they can't buy this, they buy that. If they need it today, they need it that minute. So your products must be available to the remotest areas in Nigeria. And even to the last one. The same thing with people in water. What a production. What science is it? Every person is going through purification, sterilization. And most intelligent, most importantly is the market intelligence you receive from the analytics, guiding you where to sell what, what volume. Otherwise, you dump goods in one, in one region and other regions are suffering. The cost of bringing them back and destruction and theft is a challenge. So these are a few things I think Kunga helps you to resolve. Now, because I want to give a lot of people time, I'm fast tracking because this is the first engagement Kunga is having with entrepreneurs, small, big, and medium size. Let me go to the smaller businesses. Every business, like I said, the entrepreneurs or the rich guys intimidating you today started worse than you, did, you, you are doing today. And I always told Nigerians, don't look at people like us. If we could do it, you have better education, better exposure, better parentage to deliver. And smartly too, 200 times what we've done. And there is money. Some years back, no bank will give you a hundred million naira because they weren't worth it. But today, the banks can fund it. I'm not against borrowing. I know in my profile, they indicated somebody who built the biggest ICT business without borrowing. That was a spiritual decision. 
to see how far you can go in Africa without borrowing from the bank. But it came with a lot of pain. And if I tell you a story, when I came, I was blessed. I met people like Joe Fleece, Dan Kimani, were my first customers, all the book publishing houses, all the newspapers in the country. I pioneered and deployed in all of them. So they paid me. But I was advised, coming from a business school, you must use other people's money. So the first loan I got of a draft was $100,000 Naira. And that 100000 I never touched it because I had no need. I was trusted and that we delivered task systems. But when it was time to renew the 100000 it took one month. I was going to that bank every day, very big bank, until somebody told me, Stan, you want to renew. It doesn't work like this. This is not London. You have to give something. And I felt insulted because I thought I was doing the bank a favor in taking a facility because they took their facility charge already. And I didn't touch it. I just wanted to renew it as a lifestyle. And I left Broad Street and said I wasn't going to grow more borrow money. And let me see how far we can try. So we, we've run our businesses with integrity. And we are running with OEMs. You must pay them on due date because it's tech driven. And just to tell a lot of you that you have a better future. When we have the biggest contract in Africa in the tech industry, which was $170 million. Mentally, and you don't blame them, they thought Nigerians couldn't do it because of the financing the business, because of financing the business, the short run. But frankly, I didn't put a dime. HP trusted me. They brought in 747 10 aircraft into the country. Everybody supplied on credit, and we paid. So you have the same opportunity, but you need to be reliable. Trust is key in business. It doesn't matter the huge collateral you have in property. Banks don't like property. Investors don't want property. They want integrity, and that's why I'm speaking on behalf of Congo, because the corporate governance maintained by the management of Congo is unprecedented in Africa. Now, let me go to the small and medium, so the final small, small businesses. Small businesses could be farmers. Conga is already doing a business with DFID, the UK government, and a whole lot of them. Now, you can take a loan you produce. Who do you sell to? If you are a farmer, you took a loan, central bank loan. You produced. You cultivate your produce. Who do you sell to? Because there are no aggregators in Nigeria. In the past, state government had what you call produce commissions or, or, or companies that buy from the small, small farmers, consolidate, and big on the riders who come and pick them. But because, because it became political, the cost of aggregation became more expensive okay, than buying in the open market. So all the state commodity boards died. So today, you're a restaurant, you're a farmer, small and creative producer at a low scale. How can you scale? First, you must deal with a company that can pay you as a twin deal, a company you know the face, a company you can make some calls and the result. And Konga has built the ecosystem. And this is why I thought uh, you make huge profit. And how do you make profit today? It's saving costs which are destroying your business. Some people try to save costs and they kill the future of the business. Because we're in a century of, I know Konga is building warehouses. That will be driven by artificial intelligence robotics. You're already there. They're not thinking about it. So the time of processing will be reduced by over 70% to meet consumers, customers' uh, expectations. 
And they are doing this across all verticals to support the economy. If the Nigeria economy does not grow, we don't have an economy. But somebody must take the risk, and that's what Bunga has done. And that's why a year ago, they were, they were apprised, and I told them, don't sell. There was a concept. Yes, you go to the market in future for every person to benefit. But don't say majority, because they will alter the vision. I've not said everything, but entrepreneurs have opportunity as small businesses, as brokers. Bunga is coming with something. Because the lifestyle in the cosmopolitan cities need to be enjoyed in the local areas. So I know Kunga will be doing very soon what you call. Okay, fine. So I think reverse distribution. And I know they are coming what you call digital mobile, digital mobile mobile warehouse. So this will resolve a whole lot of your fears today, but most importantly, that you get your money as it happens. But let me concentrate more on the unemployed, underemployed, and students. 94% of the rich men in Nigeria who went to school, so most of them did odd jobs. Odd jobs meant washing toilets, cleaning things, and you still go to school because school fees were expensive. Now, things have transitioned. So, Konga launch what you call Konga u boss. Be your boss. Just tell me why you can't end the living. I said in 21st century, what did not create any man to be poor and any woman to be poor? Just tell me why you should be poor, why you should pay for money when the opportunities. What you need is integrity. So if you're a staff of a company, the immediate environment of needs from mobile phone to food to water to milk to whatever to fashion, as far as you can give them quality product at a better price, they buy from you. Because they buy from something. Today it's convenient to deliver to your office, including drugs. Gonga is delivering drugs to last mile. So for those of you who are abroad, you open your wallet with Gonga, they supply your parents no matter wherever they are in the world. So you are sure you are getting genuine product as at when deal. So if the drug expires, sorry, if the drug If the drug will be exhausting in two weeks, a week before it is replenished, and you don't need to talk. And they can supply your parents food items, FMCGs, mobile phones, motorcycle, whatever you need. This is a new economy. If you don't belong in it, if you don't belong to it, then it costs you more money and you don't have a long future. So for students, exactly the same. And I've tested two students. And they are making more money than their lecturers. And those kids will be very glad to hire them as they come out of school. So I will not take more of your time so that you have opportunity to, to ask questions. But I've said it clearly. It's not a starting century, century of reality. A century where a lot of people will be poor. That's part of what I've said here. Because they don't have the energy and they want to prescribe 24 hours. So tell me why you should be born in 21st century as a Nigerian. Kunga tells me by 2026. They will be employing a minimum of 50,000 Nigerians. Direct employment. Right now, I know they employ, and these are waste cases. 
the employer about 800, but the employer indirectly about 8,000. This is how to trade the company. But there's a message I must leave within entrepreneurs here. Everybody benefits from the wealth. In the olden days, one person keeps the wealth. In 21st century, if you want to keep the best, you must share the profit with them. For the profit they create will be more than enough that you ever expected. Our parents had limitations because of education, they didn't see a bigger picture. So if you can create one billion dollars today, you have the same capacity to create 20 billion dollars. Because I've never seen somebody who died and went with money to heaven or hell, you must pass on with your colleagues who help you to create. So I really want to appreciate you, and I want to appreciate the OEMs who train their weight, and a lot of them promise to come on board next time. So I think the Conga quarterly engagement, you are going to have international entrepreneurs, world-class entrepreneurs, including Nigerians, speak, speak to you. I didn't want to talk about finance, creative financing, but Conga also gives you creative financing. If your product is popular, Conga could give you money to produce more instead of going to the bank. But you need to borrow from the bank to expand or be conscious of the interest. And if you are doing well, I'll give you a very good example. When the NSAX happened, just to tell you the mindset is changing. About Conga five stores were completely ripped off, destroyed, things stolen. A bank in Nigeria, Access Bank, we never requested. Access Bank gave Conga 500 million naira without interest for two years. I refused to sign because I said we will not borrow to we are 65. Let's trust God and let's use our integrity. But we finally signed. And the government in Nigeria, Lagos State government, sent us a fact check, unprecedented. But the management and the board decided to return it so that the government can extend that to over 20 entrepreneurs and startups so that they can succeed. So we appreciate these people. So you, it could be you, you could be offered one billion. We never requested, we never applied, we never complained. Conga never complained, sorry. So basically, this is the new world because if you're a character, good business, the bank will honor you. But you need to respect your agreements. So I really want to appreciate you. I might engage in future, but I also mentioned to Conga they need to bring people into creative finance on how to support you. That is a topic on its own. But every quarter engagement, they are going to bring deals. But I told them this one makes sense. So every engagement, they bring deals out fellow Nigerians, okay, so that we can take a little bit from multinational, not as restaurants, but people in business. So I, I encourage you to make sure it happens. But Conga cannot alter 12 midnight tomorrow because it will have infraction issues. And for you to build a company in Nigeria, think international that this must happen. Thank you very much. I appreciate you for coming and listening to me. I decided to stand and I decided to speak as temporary so that we don't present it as a special lecture. Thank you very much. So please, I can take your questions right now uh if you have questions i know you have sent some so i have some questions here already and uh, from youtube more information on conga takeaway uh conga has this by annual takeaway which is huge, okay? You get a whole lot, a lot of deals from laptop 
But I can tell you, the deals you have next week, what you're having today and tomorrow is exceptional. And that's why it's time bound. But next week, you have a hell of a lot of tech products, televisions, across board for their tech week. And it's done two times in a year. Now, somebody said, how can I work with Conga Health? Conga Health is there to be launched and recruited. They recruited in the last two years. They had few issues with uh, Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria, but they resolved it. And today, they now have the license for huge distribution across the, across the country and the import also. How can I, how can my fashion business benefit and how can I sell on Conga? To sell on Conga is very, very simple. I think you go online and you go to the merchant place. How can I be an affiliate? It's, it's again, you go to Conga affiliates and you register. But Conga is going through massive engagement statewide to build a new community of young people who are unemployed, underemployed, and students. And this is their cross verticals to make sure the message gets straight to the communities, to the local government area, why they are still running offices. Conga, I know, as far as I know, does not offer loans. But there's a benefit, I think, dealing with a big company like this, you earn. Now, Conga has a global structure to get big deals. And then the merchants online will be offered. The Conga merchants will buy those things at this time rate because they sell to different, different, they sell in different communities, okay? And people with different needs. So you take benefit of this pricing outside education, giving you access to some of this multinational. But critically, we must talk about the new product. Conga deals, punishes those who sell fake goods. Please, if you sell fake goods, don't come. But they are also a creative loan for merchants, as far as I know. But I think if you contact Conga, Conga.com, and you go to help on Conga.com, a whole lot of questions you're asking me now will be resolved. Uh, it's a one-hour program. We are managing the time to make sure they keep to it. And I know the next quarter, they are going to bring some international speakers and very productive speakers, resources, to speak to you. And as they build warehouses across, take benefit of it. And feel free to engage with them. The call center, I think, is 24 hours. And you can do more. But take advantage of advertising on Conga because an average of five to six hundred, seven hundred thousand people go into that platform. The fact, because you need to build your brand if you're a manufacturer or a producer, or even if you are representing an uh, international community. So, what else? So I think there are too many questions, and uh, we are time bound. I will hand you over to Conga people to give their closing remarks. And thank you very much for uh, listening. And I wish you a prosperous year. And you feel free to contact me if you want.
Tech Week from 24th to 31st of May with over 100,000 laptops, desktops, tablets, printers, mobile phones and other gadgets on sale in bulk and retail with huge discounts in support of educational institutions, government and corporate establishments in Nigeria in partnership with HP, Lenovo, Zinox, Samsung, Apple, Dell, Asus, Infinix, Techno and many more supported by Access Bank. All orders placed are guaranteed immediate delivery. Conga.com the e-commerce group you trust. Hi, good afternoon everyone. Um, thank you for joining the conference. I hope we all learned something. Um, it was a pleasure listening to Chairman Peter Stan Aking. So I hope everyone learned one thing or the other. Um, if you have any further questions, please send it to email to your email, email to um, help at conga.com or the phone numbers are going to drop on the screen now. Please drop your email and phone number. Sorry, send an email to the, um, that email or call that phone number if you have any questions. Um, also, a couple of questions that was asked was how to partner on Conga. So you can register as a merchant to sell on Conga.com. Um, there's a link. If you want to go to Conga.com or sell.conga.com, you can register, sell on the link. You can sell um, products ranging from tech products. Um, for my kitchen products, even things as little as hair products, you can sell that. So, any question you have, please send an email to help at conga.com. Um, it was a pleasure having everyone. This will be a quarterly event. We hope that you would join in um, once the next session is um, shared. Thank you very much for joining in and hope you have a lovely day. It's not out of your reach. At Conga, we believe that true connections with our customers is being part of your daily lives. That's why we keep looking for more ways to connect with our customers strategically. Introducing Conga Advertising, here to bring brands closer to their audiences in new innovative ways.